c a p a m o r a is Australia's hardest town at 1,488 meters above sea level, and I was the resident who lived there the longest, 45 years. For 40 of those years, I worked for Sunny Hydro, making me the longest-serving c a p a m o r a employee. Some people nicknamed me the m e r i t s of c a p a m o r a I was 23 years old when I arrived with my husband Bill Hill, together with our four-year-old son Tony, and I was pregnant with Christine. Bill and I married in my home country of Thailand. We both worked on a road project where the snow provided expertise. Thanks to my father, I really spoke English. In Kebamara, a young family moved into a house with combustion stove in the old township. Bill had a job as plant operator, working on roads, clearing snow, driving the crane, and all types of machinery. During the first winter, I find it hard to breathe. At first, I didn't go out much because I was shy, but people were wonderful, and I became part of a close-knit multicultural community of about a thousand people. After three years, so we h i d e built a new township, and we were given a new house, which became my home for the next 42 years. They also gave me a job. I started part time as a cleaner. Tony and Christine went to primary school in Kebamara. Years later, all the kids there called me Auntie Lam. I remember my first cross country ski race. I never skied before, but was encouraged to try. I fell over at the beginning, sitting on my skis wherever it was steep, floundering all the way to the end. The sweetest sound was the big cheers from onlookers when I finished last. Oh my bruises! I love skiing, and the local oval become known as Lums Oval. Fellow skier used to set a track for me to ski at night. Later, my grandchildren learned to ski when they visit. The annual ski balls were unforgettable. It's magic to walk to the ball in an evening gown, carrying our shoes, getting home at 2 a.m. in a snowstorm. I remember the bushfire of 2003, when our courageous men and women worked day and night to save the town. We couldn't leave for weeks. Very sadly, Bill died in 2006, a year after he retired. He was a wonderful man, and everyone loved him. There is a plaque to remember him at the lookout at c a p a m a r a s old township. After Bill passed away, I stayed for other 10 years. I loved my job as a accommodation officer, looking after the staff and the VIPs. I got on really well with everyone. It was so hard to leave. I remember the farewells. The c a p a m a r a school children sang Snowy River Row, and it brought me to tears as school children had sung the same song at Bill Farewells. Also, the chief operating officer made the most touching speech about how much the Snowy appreciated my work. I feel privileged to have been a Snowy employee and gave it my heart and soul from the beginning. <laughs>